This is my first time bidding on Yahoo Action in Japan, and I spent $300 in video games. Make sure you stay until the end, because we are going to test the consoles and the games that will come out from that box. PlayStation 2 memory cards. Who doesn't love this? I really like the colors. Look at the white, the silver, transparent. These are all Magic Gate. Very useful for modding your PS2. Love the yellow and love the blue. Cables. Power supply, Sega Genesis. Nope, Sega Mega Drive. I will still confuse myself with the two names. We are talking about a Mega Drive here. Now, how cool is this? This is a legit Ashi fishing rod for PlayStation 1. And PlayStation 2. Can't wait to play some of these games. See, can you hear? Really nice build quality. that. Sega Genesis controller from Japan with the blue button and the red ABC button. We'll need some cleaning. So much love coming out of this box. So what we have here is a Nintendo Famicom. This is the well-known top loader Famicom. You see that the cart can be inserted from the top. This is not only a beautiful piece of art, it really solved the reliability issues related to the spring-loaded mechanism of the original NES, the front loader one. This is also known in Japan as the new NES or the AV NES. Why? Because it has not the RF out, typical of the top loader American NES, but this has really the multi-AV out, which is the same as the Super Nintendo or SNES or Super Famicom. Another important difference between this one and the American version, this one is flat. And it came with a redesigned version of the NES controller. This is known as the dog bone because of the shape that reminds to a dog bone. Really nice piece of hardware. I think I like it better than the squared NES one. Why not? Some games. I mean, this is Super Mario Bros. Mario Open Golf. Look how colorful is that? They look much, much better than the traditional NES games. Although I love them, I love them all. But look at this. And because one fishing rod wasn't really enough, 
Here you have a Dreamcast fishing rod controller. And this was released shortly after the debut of Sega Bass Fishing. This is the only official fishing peripheral for a video game console to date. What people don't know about this is that, of course, it's a fishing rod, but you can actually play Soul Calibur and Virtua Tennis with it. Cables. Look how beautiful is she. This is obviously a PlayStation 2 Slim in white color. It's a compact version of the best-selling PlayStation console of all time. And the Slim was released in 2004 with a dramatically reduced form factor compared to the FAT model. It has an external PSU, which helps keeping the form factor small. And that PSU is one of the best and the most sought after in the retro gaming world. On top of that, it has an integrated network adapter, but no hard drive support. This paired with a white memory card and a white controller, DualShock 2. Man, I am absolutely blown away by the style of this thing. And since we are talking PlayStation 2, I got a few games. Cables, power supply, cables, power supply. Mega Drive games. Super Monaco GP with its booklet. Oh, and there's a, these are codes. Thank you for whoever left the code here. Look at the typical Japanese cart. Super Volleyball. I loved this game so much. I played it so much. So much Sega love for today. It's Sega's fifth console and their best selling system of all time with 40 million units sold worldwide. It doesn't need any introduction at all. I just loved this color scheme and I love to have an early version. This is an 88, you see by the serial number. It has no trademark security system. I'm curious to see if I can read every freaking game on this guy. This early version in the United States had high definition graphic written on top, but then they added the TMSS and some of my Italian games they don't really play on my American Genesis. We're talking about something released in 2015 by Takara with an MSRP of about $70 at launch, easily twice as much in today's market. And this is the ultimate pinnacle of Avukappa Studio. I mean, this is Optimus Prime and it turns into a Sony PlayStation. It even has a tiny controller and a tiny memory card. And this was part of a series that included also Megatron. This is the boy. I didn't get it in these, in these auctions and they look amazing together. Sega Mega Drive Megatron. Not a Genesis Megatron. Does it remind you of something? Yes, it should. You'll see an unboxing video and a review together with my son Leo of these guys in the near future. But man, I am happy as a kid.
a personal advice, I know there are plenty of proxy services that will buy stuff for you and will ship to you from Japan, like Sendico and so on. But my advice is get a friend, somebody you can trust in Japan. Thank you, Yuki. I hope you like this video. If the content was relevant to you, please like, subscribe and share. But remember, keep growing, but never grow up. Until the next one.